Hey everyone, it's Dr. Gary here. We're gonna do a facial plastic surgery analysis of Megan Fox. She's a phenomenal actress. I think she was really, really good in Transformers as well as many other movies. And let's see what types of facial plastic surgery she may have had. We are gonna add up all the procedures and summarize them at the end with all the costs and so you guys can see what it costs to look and continue to look as beautiful as Megan Fox. In 2004, at the age of 18, you can see that Megan Fox hasn't really had any facial plastic surgeries at this point, and she just has really amazing natural features. So let's go into each of them. For one, I'm seeing that she has these nice almond-shaped eyes, which really complement her face. She has horizontal thirds that are really well preserved as far as proportion goes. She has this heart-shaped face. She has a very soft nose that does not draw attention to it, which is what most people want. And she has good lip fullness and a short philtrum. Keep that in mind as, as we go through this talk. The philtrum, the area between the nose and the upper lip, does appear short. Now she also has excellent bone structure and that also helps with framing of the face. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Turn on notifications and please like this video if you enjoy it. In 2005, at the age of 19, I don't really see any major changes going on. 2006, age 20, also no significant changes here. 2007, she's 21, really kind of striking beauty, especially with her the makeup that she's wearing, but there's no change as far as surgeries go, in my opinion. 2008, at age 22, you have a good picture here of her uh, nose from a three quarter view. Note how she has this little uh, small hump on the nose and there's a small cleft at the tip. You'll see that go away in the future, so keep track of that. Also keep in mind uh, and, and look for this nostril exposure that she has and compare it to what comes later. So at this point, at the age of 22, I don't really see any obvious signs of plastic surgery. Now 2009, age 23, I think things start to change a little bit. As far as her nose, I'm seeing some signs of a rhinoplasty. The nostrils to me seem more exposed. There's increased nostril show as we call it from a frontal view and the side view which is something that happens with rhinoplasty. The bridge to me appears more narrow and the tip cleft between the lower lateral cartilages seems to have gone away. So that to me spells rhinoplasty. Now her lips seem to be changing a little bit too. I think she's starting to get some lip filler into especially the upper lip and a little bit into the bottom lip. There's a bit more of that accentuated white roll, which she didn't have a very, very obvious white roll definition prior, and now I'm seeing that right at the vermilion border, there's a bit of that protrusion that we sometimes see with lip filler. Now 2010, age 24, is where Megan Fox, I believe, has really started to undergo more procedures. I'm seeing signs of several uh, facial plastic surgeries here. So 2010, I'm seeing signs of a potential brow lift. Her brows are have always been in a very great position, but I think in an attempt to maintain that, she may have had her first brow lift. The reason I say this is because the hairline looks a bit elevated, and we know that with brow lifts, especially if they're done endoscopically, which is a common way to perform them, there's a lifting of the hairline, and so that is one telltale sign. Now, I'm also seeing signs of more lip filler. I think she's continued to get that lip filler into those lips, and there is also, and I usually don't mention this in my talks, as you guys know, but here I just see it pretty obviously it looks like she's had veneers placed and veneers you know can be very pricey as well so I'm going to add those into the mix at the end of this talk and the other type of surgery that I think she's had at around this time is cheek implants. You can see enhanced definition of the cheeks that go beyond just wearing makeup. And you can almost see the outline of the cheek implant as far as I can tell. Now, moving on to 2011 at age 25, there's no major change that I can see. She still looks extremely youthful. 2012, age 26, also no major change. 2013, and one thing to keep in mind around this time she started to have her children so there might be some changes related to the pregnancy and that sort of thing 2013 age 27 no major change same with 2014 at age 28 not 
seeing any major changes. Now, 2015, age 29, some people have suggested that maybe Megan Fox had a lip lift. When I'm looking here at the distance between the nose and the upper lip, and also the amount of uh, upper tooth show that she has, to me, it looks quite stable. As far as I'm concerned, I don't really see any obvious signs of a lip lift. And that distance to me, even in more recent photos, is, is preserved. So of course, with the use of makeup, with the use of lip liner, you can shorten that distance. You can create the illusion of a shorter distance. But when I look across many different photos, many years, I don't really see any obvious signs of a lip lift. She already had quite a bit of upper tooth show in her original photos when she was much, much younger. 2016, age 30, I don't see any major changes. 2017, age 31, one no change keep in mind the the jawline here it looks very natural to me it doesn't look like a jawline that's been lifted now we'll contrast that with some of the more recent photos and you'll see what i mean 2018 age 32 i don't see any changes here in megan fox she still looks wonderful 2019 age 33 what i'd like to point out here is that i think she's definitely undergoing lip and nasal labial fold filler and pr probably some additional facial filler procedures likely several times a year as maintenance she's also getting Botox maintenance to keep the frown lines and the forehead lines and the crow's feet lines at bay so that is something that we will also include into the final summary at the end 2020 age 34 I don't see any major changes but at age 35 and 2021 just last year there are signs of some additional work so for one one, I'm seeing some signs of an aleroplasty, which is when the base of the nose is narrowed. So in contrast to a rhinoplasty where we work on the cartilage and the bone of the nose to change it, sometimes make it smaller, sometimes just make it stronger so we can get better features, so we can make sure people are breathing well. In contrast to that, an aleroplasty works on the base of the nose. And that's where we try to bring the wings, the ala of the nose in, to make them line up better with the inner corner of the eye. So from what I can tell, her nose at the base seems narrower. And that is a combination usually of a sill reduction, which is the nasal sill, which is this portion right here, that can be brought in, as well as an ailer reduction or wedge excision, which also brings the nose further together. So that's an ailer plasty, and I, I am seeing signs of that compared to her previously operated nose from before. Also, to me, it looks like she may have had some fat transfer to the face. It just looks fuller. Maybe it's just hyaluronic acid filler, but I propose that potentially Megan Fox had fat transfer around this time. And there has also been some speculation about a potential facelift. Now, I think that there might be some truth to that. When I look at that jawline and I compare it to how she looked a few years ago, where the jawline looked like a, a natural, very slowly aging jawline of a person in their late 20s, early 30s. Now, to me, it looks very clean and lifted. And so I think she may have had a facelift as well. Now let's summarize these procedures that Megan Fox may have had. Again, I'm not her treating surgeon, so I don't know these for a fact. This is just my opinion about what may have happened. Now a rhinoplasty, I'm gonna give you a range of prices here. And then we're gonna add it all up at the end and we're gonna give you the high end range of what she may have paid. So rhinoplasty, 10 to $20,000. Ailerplasty, five to $10,000. Facial filler and Botox maintenance, Let's assume that it was over the course of about 10 or 11, let's say 11 years, $10,000 per year. Cheek implants, 10 to $20,000. Veneers, 20 to $100,000. Rowlift, 10 to 20,000. Fat transfer to the face, 10 to $20,000. Facelift, 30,000 to $80,000. If we put that all together, the total comes out to about $380,000 to continue to look as beautiful as Megan Fox. We don't know for sure if she's had these procedures, but one thing to remember is that celebrities are frequently under a lot of pressure to look their best and to look a certain way and to look in a way that people can aspire to. So they have a, a ton of pressure to maintain these looks and to enhance their looks. And they're often going under the knife for plastic surgery. Um, whether I think they want to or not, there's just so much external pressure and they rarely talk about it. And even sometimes they'll admit one procedure when they've had 20 procedures. So 
I see it as helpful to talk about these things so that no one feels bad about not looking a certain way, not looking like Megan Fox when they're 35, because maybe they've never had any surgery and maybe they can't afford these surgeries. So for most people, this is sort of out of reach. And I think that is what potentiates all of this activity and what makes us continue to look up to some of our um, celebrities, when in reality, they're just like us, but with more resources. That's just kind of how things shake out sometimes. Did I miss something? Do you guys think that Megan Fox maybe had a different procedure or didn't have a procedure that I mentioned? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out my facial plastic surgery analysis of Ariana Grande. Click on that card and I'll see you there. And there's a lot more to come on the channel. So if you're not subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Dr. Gary, I hope you like our new setup and the new camera, uh, and uh, we'll see you again soon.